here again for my sixth Disney College Program vlog. Um, this one is my Ask an Alumni type of vlog. Um, so I posted on some some of the Facebook sites asking for you guys to ask me questions for me to answer. So I'm just going to go down the line. So one of the first ones I got was what was my best experience? And one of the weird things is it wasn't something necessarily college program wise is more of a reflection on family so my little sisters were very young my first time around in the program there were maybe six and seven and we saw Fantasmic for the first time and when all the princesses came out to see their faces glow and wave at them and try to get their attention it was the idea that that hit me with the Disney magic of what Walt always wanted, and I, that was the moment I finally understood why I was there. Now I want to leave. Um, on top of that, some of my other good experiences is we got to go through Walt's apartment, and we got to walk through that along with walking through the Dream Suite, which is so crazy magical, and most people won't even know that it exists. Um, I also got some questions on my theatrical background. Um, so I've done theater since I was like 12. I started off in doing Alice in Wonderland. It wasn't actually a Disney version of Alice in Wonderland and Grease as well. Um, so I've done every backstage area, every on stage type of deal. Um, I'm currently directing a, at a children's theater and I'm also directing at my school right now and it's a play that I wrote and that I'm directing and that actually goes up next week which cross my fingers it goes good <laughs> particularly great um, I love acting but I also love directing a lot I'm also an award-winning sound designer from the KCACTF festival so that's my claim to fame <laughs> um, some other things that were asked of me is how is housing so I'm a, I was a Disneyland alumni, so I don't really know the world um, background as much. I'll give you a link to my blog of a couple of Disney World alumni vlogs. Um, but Disneyland, uh, there's so many different apartments. There's studios, there's two bedrooms, one bedrooms, there's bunks, there's not bunks. It kind of just depends. And my first time around, I didn't know you could like find people and find roommates. No, I just kind of walked in there like, I don't know what I'm doing. And I was in a two bedroom, two and a half bath uh, with five people. I ended up being four people by the end of it. There is lockers in case you need to put away personal stuff. Which, I mean, we really didn't use, but I don't know if we would or not. Maybe you have something you don't want anyone to touch, and you can use it the locker that way, and you can buy a lock for it and everything, and housing can't bother it or anything like that. Um, I also got questions asked on arrival. Again, I was a 2011 alumni, so it could change of what has, what the arrival stuff is. Like, already, the arrival for me is in January. And it used to be over like three weeks time and in Disneyland it looks like it's only over a couple days now of everyone arriving. Um, but how it happened the first time is we were there, we went in and got all of our paperwork, gave all of our insurance, all of our um, identifications, they copied it. <laughs> I love this speech. I just want you to listen to it. See that emotion? You'll get that. Every time you hear Walt speak, you'll get like that, and you'll just be like, because it's beautiful. Sorry. Random moment. ADHD. Happens. <laughs> uh, nonetheless, you get all your paperwork, you go through all of your, um, you go through all of the paperwork, you go through all of the tour 
and then they'll send you up with your key to your apartment and then you kind of claim a bed and you can't go up there with family or anything the first time around it has to be just you but then you can go back down and grab your family once you have your key and the apartment scanner for Carnegie, Carnegie Plaza you'll get like a card that scans in so that no creepers can just like walk in um, and then they do like a housing meeting and it's just like welcome to housing oh, don't do stupid stuff and then later on they'll have like a welcoming party, which is really fun to do. Um, looks like this year that some of the Disney land kids are doing a big party downtown, which I'm excited for. I'll be there. Um, I think that's pretty much all the questions I got. So if you got any more questions, put in the link below.